Hey everyone, what's going on? So it's Sarah and today's video I wanted to share a little project that I've been working on with everyone. Um, so I'm a part of this Facebook group called Swappers Corner and I joined the event of designing a Halloween pocket letter but the twist is you get to pick um, one of the letters that's spelled out in Halloween and so I picked out O and you had to design each ATC card um, with that letter and I thought that was pretty neat so I wanted to share with you guys what I came up with and I'll share some of the project tools that I use um, to design these cards um, some cute tricks so I'm excited okay so I'm gonna share with you guys what I use first um, you guys saw me haul this um, Tim Holtz Halloween 2 stamp and stencil set. So I use the bat stencil in the background. I use the CC Designs um, Meowloween stamp set and I use the little witch kitty. So cute. And then I use the broom. Um, I use my dies. And then also I picked up the CC Design Jumbo Alpha set. Um, at CC Designs website because they had a huge um, die sale so I was ecstatic to pick that up and so I used the letter O and that's how big the O is on the cards it's pretty decent so it's gonna be great for banners as well so I'm excited about that also some of the things that I used was these um, Apple Barrel Matte Acrylic Paint and it's quick drying and it's really great. It, it's really matte, but um, these are like 50 cents at Walmart. So I was really excited about using these and they, the paint works really well. As you can see right there, really well. Um, I did use stickles. I have purple, firefly, and orange slice. Um, and then I did use my Copics. Okay, so over here I have paper, and as far as my quick tip, I use these cute Halloween fence cupcake wrappers. These have been in my Halloween baking goods stash for the longest time, and I never used them. I don't know why, but I've had them for a long time. I mean, super long time, so I'm glad I finally got to use these. But always, you know, look in your stash, even your baking good items. You know, cupcake wrappers are good for paper crafting, so that was fun to do. And then for paper, I told you guys I'm on a paper Halloween paper hunt because I feel like I don't have much, but I did use this um, Gypsy. I think I hauled this in one of my Tuesday morning hauls, but it's a Gypsy um, 8x8. It's a variety pack, and it's called Harmony. I think that's the name of this paper pad. But um, I used this print here, and I think I used um, a newspaper print because I just feel like this is, you know, this can go for Halloween. So, and it has like multiple sheets of each um, design pattern. So that was pretty cool. So I got to use this. I'm glad I digged in my stash. And then this is the only paper, Halloween paper pad that I picked up last year. I definitely need to pick up more paper pads, but I've been, I got this one at Ross, and I've been lately, and I guess it's still kind of early. They haven't had any paper crafting stuff, or not in my area. Um, so this is Pebbles, and it's called Boo. I love, I love this paper pad, actually. I wish I would have gotten two packs, because I've almost devoured this whole thing. Um, but it's just, you know, black, more of a dark red-orange. Um, it's black and white and then has like the purple and green and um, orange which I love. I love this color um, combination for Halloween, the purple and the green and the orange. So yeah, I've already cut like a bunch of pieces out because I've been using it like crazy. Okay, so that's the paper that I used. Um, I used this candy corn um, striped paper and then this orange black polka dot for the letter O. And here are the cute little cards that I made. So I did, like I said, I used the stencil and I used that black matte paint. Really, it came out really well. Um, I was really happy with it. There's like no lines or anything. 
no bleed so I was like wow that's awesome and especially getting paint for 50 cents um, and then I just um, put some foam adhesive for the O and I put stickles on the kitty's hat and I did pop up the the broom as well with adhesive so I think that came out really cute so I made that one and then um, I did this one with the black paper and the white bats and I did some stickling on the kitty's hat. I love them. They're super cute. Super cute. Super fun. I love all the layering. Um, I love the little fence cupcake liner. That was just perfect. I was like, yeah, I'm totally going to do that. So that's how they turned out. I did change the kitty's bow in some of them. I did put Wink Estella on the letter O's. So they're kind of the same, you know, except for, you know, the letter and the bows on the kitties. But that was my quick share, guys. I just wanted to share that with you. I also posted a picture on Instagram if you guys want to check that out and follow me there. But as always, I thank you guys for watching. Keep on crafting, and I can't wait to show you some more Halloween um, project shares. See you in my next video. Bye! <laughs>